And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Kindred. We are going to be playing um, a deck that's kind of built around the old Twisted Fate Elise Gohard deck. And we're going to be playing a new champion. Instead of Elise, we're going to be playing Kindred, this five mana champion. First time you slay a unit each round, you get to mark the weakest enemy and round end kill units with my mark. I feel like this card is going to be really good in this deck because this deck can, is awesome, again, about like killing small things. Like we're going to be a go hard deck, like we're small things, like we're really good at killing them. But large things can be a an issue. And so all we have to do is have a, a Kindred in play, make sure that we kill all their small things, and then Kindred can uh, mark the large enemies that are left because they, they will be the weakest enemy. So that could be really cool. Um, so we're upping the curve from like the normal Elise deck because we're re replacing a two mana card Elise with playing a five mana card instead. So that's upping the curve. Um, I also wanted to put Spirit Leech in here to be able to, you know, kill an ally, draw two. This is a really good way for Kindred, you know, to turn on uh, slaying a unit for Kindred. So I wanted to play this card also. So that again also ups the curve. So therefore, um, we're going to get rid of Salvage. because So we're replacing Salvage with Spirit Leech. And I want another cheap unit right like i want something else to kind of play early since we don't have a lease so we're gonna play cursed keeper that's the one that we kind of decided to go on cursed keeper can do a lot of cool stuff in here not only is it good with spirit leech it's also really good with fortune croaker but it's also really good with go hard because when you play go hard sometimes your opponents don't really play units for you to go hearted i know that's not very often but sometimes that is the case and so you can play curse keeper like if you don't play anything on turn one you play curse keeper on turn two you can go hard your own curse keeper because it's it's any unit it still drains the enemy it still uh well it still heals you you for one sorry um, but you can do that for for any unit so you can still just drain your curse keeper um and and also you can do that to um turn on kindred right like if we have like a curse keeper in play we have kindred in play if they have just like all things with like two plus health we can still go hard our own curse keeper kill it and then that's us slaying something and then mark whatever the weakest thing for them is and still kill that and so basically have that dead from our go hard i don't know that's something that could happen um i thought about playing salvage instead of glimpse beyond Basically, the, the reason to do that is if we don't play Glimpse Beyond, then Go Hard is the only spell that costs three or less for Sprayfin. So I thought that would be really cool. And Salvage is still the card advantage anyway. But with having the Spirit Leech and the Kindred, I didn't, I just didn't want, it just looked like too top heavy having Salvage and all these cards. It just felt like the mana was just too much. So um, too expensive. So it ended up going back to Glimpse Beyond. But that was my first impression was to cut Glimpse Beyond, keep Salvage. And, you know, basically play Kindred instead of Glimpse Beyond um, to make sure we're drawing Go Hards. But, oh, well, uh, also with having Curse Keeper, I wanted to have more Glimpse Beyonds with Curse Keeper also to just have another card for that. All right, so let's give this a try. So Twisted Fate Kindred should be pretty cool. Twisted Kindred. We'll go play our five games in Ranked. Hopefully have a nice, good winning record. We had a couple of rough ones in a row. There are last ones. We had, This is it's the kind of thing of, like, whenever you, whenever you play... Whenever you start playing new decks, new cards, everything, you're not going to always have the best records. And we did not have the best record before. All right, so Thresh, Gnosis, they're all about slaying stuff. I feel like Kindred may not be the best for this matchup. Just that they're kind of thinking that like maybe they have like some other small things that um, like we'll just mark small stupid little spider things and stuff like that. But I don't know. Maybe I should have kept one Kindred, just to see. You're saying, Lady Elise, where are you? I'm saying, Go Hard, where are you? Go Hard, where are you? Um. Let me do this. If I play Fortune Croaker this turn, then my then I basically I, I don't get to play Spirit Leech the next turn if I do that. And I kind of wanted to play the Spirit Leech, so therefore I wanted to uh, play this. But the Roiling Sands does make Spirit Leech a lot worse. Hmm. So let's go this route. You 
Because I don't want to have my Spirit Leech have the Vulnerable for a one, for little 1-1. One, one. We do have Go Hard in this deck, correct? Final answer. I'm getting Twist of Fate in play before I start drawing cards. And my plan is obviously they're going to challenge Twist of Fate with the Thresh. My plan is to Vengeance the Thresh. Alright, we're finally... Finally getting that. And I'm playing the Go Hard right now to get it back into my deck before I start drawing more cards. Oh so they're going to have lots and lots of cards over there. They've already had three... Mi three two mana draw twos. Twist Fate's at four. All right, well, plan didn't work out. out of six. That was a terrible turn for me. It's probably game now. Feels like today, like the last like 10, 11 games now, it's just any decision I make is just ends up completely backfiring, right? Like taking the turn for vengeance just completely backfired. <sighs> right, it just seems like I can't make the right decision at all. Right, at least that thing's only just a 6 6, so that doesn't kill me. That sometimes there's unlucky days. Yeah. Sometimes no nothing works out. Opponent's hand looked perfect, though. Actually playing the box. That's when you know things are going bad when you're getting destroyed by the box. We play in build rules, son. All right, there's a go hard. We have not been finding those. They don't want to spend mana, that's fine with me. I can stay alive here. If I play something else, they play their stupid box, and I can't 
you know, then I lose. But right here, we have two things that can block the 10 10. I have the Withering Wheel clear these things up. Alright, so if I play this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yes, I'd have exactly 10 cards. Hmm, no go hard. This is why I had to play Kindred, because because of, of blocking purposes. I can try to Spirit Journey the Kindred. But then if they use any removal spell on my Kindred, that's like the worst case scenario. I can try to glimpse beyond it. Probably my best thing to do. Good. Another go hard. So I want to play the go hard and put two more go hards back in my deck before I draw cards. I kind of want to play this Curse Keeper, Fortune Croaker, also. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about that. Deck. Sure, you get your cool spell shield. I only have two cards to kill this Gnosis, two Vengeance. I've already played both Vengeance. I don't have anything else that kills this Gnosis. After Wizard! Besides just like, five mana, pack your bags. Thank you, After Wizard. Thanks for that tier one sub. Keeping that going. 47 months After Wizard been here since the beginning. Y'all get that hype in the chat. Hope life's going good. Where do you stand on cold shots? I just can't go for Kindred yet. You know, that's what I want to do. I think the Spear Leech is maybe a little bit too many cards. We are really, really bad at drawing Go Hard. This obviously really hurts because this my escaped bomb. You know, I, I really wanted this escaped abomination to be able to block the Gnosis. Oh come on! Oh, that makes my life more difficult because I I need the spirit leash to block this thing. Oh man, that makes my life more difficult. I guess I'm going. I guess we're going Jagger Butcher. Whenever they saved, whenever they saved Thrash and killed my Twisted Fate, that yeah, the right of negation saved Thrash, killed my Twisted Fate. That's whenever the game really turned, and um, we really did a, a very poor job. I'm looking at all these. Re did a really poor job of drawing Go Hard. I agree with you, Mesa. Expensive hand. Trundle Lissandra. Good card. See, this is not going to be a matchup where Gohard's going to really do very much against. Let's get a couple more of them in the deck.
Patek, you said you can't play this meta. Why is that? I don't even think there's a meta right now. Why, why would you say you can't play this meta? I don't think there's even... I wouldn't even say that there's a meta right now. There's... Everybody's just trying new stuff and everything. I don't think there's a meta. Another go harden. Never lost a fair game. Play one. Start drawing those cards. I don't have like a great late game against these kind of decks, right? Like we're not playing um we're not playing Ledros or anything like that that's going to be really good here. It's This deck that I'm currently playing is certainly built for the um, for all the aggro decks that are around right now. Unfortunately, with the Talia deck, all we face was aggro. With this deck, we're not facing, you know, 0 for 2 against, you know, we're not playing against any aggro. I should, I should probably go hard on this thing first. If, if we want more go hards, I guess that's that's really the question. Keep up, keep up. Yeah, we can't just like pass forever because <clears throat> our deck not so good in the real late game. I know I could Glimpse Beyond right there, but I would prefer Glimpse Beyond for after Twist of Fate. Because I play deck hand, they just attack it, and then I'm like, what am I doing then? If I play Kindred, they play Ruination. That's. You gotta trust your instincts. Don't have the best options. Never won. Without the other. <laughs> yeah, just have it all. Sometimes games are like this against controller, you just can't do anything. But we're still drawing. Uh, we have just as many cards in hand as they do. But the late the the problem here is that the late game is um, you know much better for them than for me. They are at ten. We have five drain in hand. They can just play whatever to heal their nexus though. Good. 
Stop. That one to everything does mean one to their nexus also. Spirit leeches. challenging over here because it's pretty easy for them to play whatever to kill one health thing and so if I want to get damage in that's gonna be my best way to do it cool Patek thank you so much I thought they were going to entomb that Trundle. That's what I was thinking that they were going to be doing. But they're worried about their life total also. We can maybe get a surprise kill with... Um, you know, the five damage and then Doom Beast, like maybe they won't expect the extra Doom Beast here. What? Why did I draw a card? Oh, that's right, because the pack your bags cost five. Been a <laughs> this is the problem with playing all sorts of different stuff all the time. Yes, the packer bags cost five. And I was even thinking of like, I was, you know, when I was playing this turn, I was thinking about, okay, I'm spending five mana on packer bags. What does the rest of my turn look like? Right. That's obviously something I've talked about quite a bit before, but just forgot right there. So puts them down to five. Never lost a fair game. We played one. Soak it in. Yeah, they had lots of ice shards. There's pack your bags. Okay, took a different way to get there, but we ended up getting there. One and one, so we had so much card draw too. Really, the reason why I think we win that game right there is because they didn't have like a, you know, like a Ledros or anything. Like they didn't pressure our life total. They had the one Trundle, but that's it, right? So like with no real pressure on our life total, we could sit back and draw cards forever. And, um, you know, if that's all they have our defensive tools, we can, we can handle that. Okay, we getting paired against an aggro deck. Let's see how we do. This is an aggro deck that can go big. Kindred would be really nice to see. 
I like this hand though. I don't. Vengeance is. You know, Vengeance is a little expensive, but, you know, we'll try to have, like, go hard, take down a Spell Shield, because, right, they're all about, like, the Ruin Raider, the Sivir, the Spell Shields. And so, go hard being one mana, get rid of a Spell Shield, that's important. So they're, they're blocking the one health thing, not the two health thing. Oh well. I guess they're... Are they blocking the... History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Hmm. It uses my mana a lot better just to play the Withering Well right now. But I guess it, no, I don't want to do that. Let's play this card. Oh. <laughs> Ice Shard gets an animation, but not Homecoming. <laughs> Ice Shard is a champion spell. Homecoming's not. I guess that, that could be the difference there. I don't know if they're gonna have if they're gonna have like a fight spell that that'll be bad for me. Yeah, we played some Talia today. You can see our schedule up here on the left. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Embrace life. This is the kind of thing like if they have four four mana fight spell, the game is on. If they don't, the game's like pretty over. If they don't. But if they do, there's a good chance they win. Okay, well that's that's not four mana fight spell, but that's kind of the same that thing, like right, like is if we would get to just like slay both of those, take them both down for that one mana, that would have been incredible. Surprise to see me. You pay first. Not the case. I don't like that level up. You pay first. It's hard to beat fast now. Cool. I didn't really expect that to work. Huh. I did not expect that to work. Yeah, just no no fight spells over there. Well, that's good for me. Only the finest serve. So, so if I attack, they have a free block with the 4-3, because that 4-3 is going to die anyway. So I'll just pass. Okay, Kindred's doing its thing. I hate having to put my face on. Like I, have... I was gonna say I can have double Withering Whale, but I guess it'd make more sense just to play Dreadway Deckhand and one Withering Whale. So if I, yeah, so I got a, I got a glimpse beyond. So otherwise, this thing's leveling up. 
I could. So basically, what I'm th considering because I, I could glimpse beyond like the dreadway deck hand, and then it will mark one of these. But I don't know which one it would mark. But oh, I guess it doesn't. It doesn't matter if it marks something because Kindred's not going to be in play. So let's just sacrifice the Kindred. What? That card's just shock, right? Just deal two damage or something? Or just Mystic Shot? That was just Mystic Shot, right? I guess that's this. So they could have Mystic Shot the Dreadway deck hand, but they just did the one two instead? Is that what just happened in life? Each time I see you deal 15 plus damage, create a mirror image in hand. Okay. Got a surprise for him. Yeah, they should definitely have been attacking with LeBlanc last, I agree. So I'm doing this correct this time, so let's play the spray fin to draw the go hard first before it turns into packer bags. Um and they're both slow speed, so I can't cast both of them right now. So I'm gonna take a bunch of damage. Unfortunately. And also I'm I'm casting the wrong go hard. I should cast this one that my spray fin just grabbed. So they're not as skeptical about it. What? A guile? Okay. A game. Go on then. I'm always up for a round or two. So it is. All right, more cards. Yeah, so we should should have this from here. I think. Brayfin draws Glimpse Beyond right now. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. I could just wither and will. But I like doing the five damage and resetting. Mostly about that resetting. Watch this. Now Spray can find another go hard. What's up, Kindred? Kindred was really good for us this game. Never won. The there we go. That will do. See, for all these. There are a lot of aggro decks running around right now, and I think this deck can do pretty well against the aggro decks, for sure. Okay. All in Fiora. What do I have against all in Fiora? We're 
We're obviously going to be real slow. Well, I was going to be real slow, but... Do they have anything against Vengeance? I guess Freljord, Demacia? I don't think so. Not that I can think of. Unyielding Spirit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a card. Okay. Yeah, Unyielding Spirit. That's a card. Purify. Purify is better for me than single combat would have been. So right now we, we have Vengeance mana and they do not have Unyielding Spirit mana. Just the way I like it. Which is just the way I like it. The Curse Keepers have been pretty good in our deck, though. I've, I've really liked having the Curse Keepers in here. I think that they've they've been really versatile and have gotten a lot of work done. There we go. They couldn't find another Fiora. Perfect. Three and one. <laughs> beating Fiora is like beating a boss. They have three phases. Once you kill the third one, you win. <laughs> Right. Twisted Fate Aphelios. Let's mulligan mulligan. Maybe I should be mulliganing Dreadway Deckhand also since I don't have a go hard right now. I probably should have. Um, the Deckhand's not the worst though with the Croaker of how you can just sacrifice the Powder Keg. Draw a couple cards that way. Get out of here, box plus. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just get out of here. Just go home. Alright, so Pool Shark. Hmm. Oh wait. We don't have to cast that right now. Gotta go with the flow. I'm always up for a round or two. Holy partner. Don't stop. Stop. Sorry. 
Looks like trouble. Tago's barking. <laughs> that octopus was looking for a fight. Growling at the front door? What are you doing? There's nobody here at the front door. Why are you growling at it? Come here. Come here. Jump. You're looking. There you go. You're looking. You're making it seem like you can't make that jump. Come on. You can do that. Okay. Let's play Kindred. Kindred. So right now I can uh, cast go hard. Shuffle. Kill my two one. All right, I'm not worried about Hush. Oh, I, sh I should just attack with the 2-1 also, by the way. But I guess I'd be a little bit more worried about Hill Cascade. All right, so now they could Hush. I wasn't worried about Hush for attacking, but they could Hush here. Yep. That was their only card that saved Twisted Fate. So, of course, they had it. So yeah, so they count Twisted Fate as the weaker of the two with the Spray Fin and Twisted Fate. That's happened to me before whenever it was like something with the strongest enemy and it kept it it counted the Spray Fin as the stronger enemy. I don't really know with these two. Why and it was set up like this also this the exact same last time. It was um Twisted Fate on the left, Spray Fin on the right, and Spray Fin was the stronger enemy. So that's seven. Okay, they're just concede. Their twist of fate just dies, and they're like, alright, I'm, I'm done, y'all. Thanks for not playing that Boxtopus and challenging my kindred first. I, I appreciate it. It All it says is that, like, whenever... So they have the same mana cost, same power and health, and so then it says it, it should choose the one... It should choose from left to right. So I thought that it would choose the twist of fate on the left being the strongest. Um, the, the last time. Um, but maybe it just means left to right goes like weakest to strongest. So I don't, I don't know exactly. It doesn't say that it, it decides anything with the keywords, how like Twisted Fate has one keyword with Quick Attack and, um, Spray Fin has two keywords with Attune and Elusive. Um, so maybe it is during perfect ties, left is weakest and right is strongest. Maybe that's, maybe that's it. Or maybe... You, Cortex says that keywords are counted, I believe. Okay. And their, and their thing about it, because you know, like we looked it up last time, um, it didn't say, it didn't say, um, you know, keywords were counted, but um, it just said something about it like being left to right. And we're like, well, if it, it's supposed to kill the strongest, it was, because it was gold card. That's what I was doing. Twisted Fate gold card stunned the strongest thing. And it stunned the, it stunned the spray fin on the right. It, you know, killed the, the gold card killed the spray fin, not killed the Twisted Fate. And we're like, well, how is that? Okay, so I guess so that's so that's what it is. So the left, so the FAQ specifically said that the left was the weakest. Okay, so it goes left to right, weakest to strongest. Okay. So I guess that's that's the tie. So that's how you know the uh, tie break. All right, but there we go. That was Twisted Kindred. Our deck definitely looked good. I think that this was an upgrade over the old Go Hard deck with Elise. I think that kin Kindred was really nice. I liked having Kindred in here. I think that it was just a more impactful champion than Elise. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend if, if you like playing like the Go Hard decks, give this one a try. I didn't miss Salvage. Um, I did really like Spirit Leech. Spirit Leech was awesome, especially with Curse Keeper. I, like, I think Curse Keeper did a ton for us. Um, and so yeah, having Curse Keepers, Spirit Leech, Kindred, I liked our list. I think that this was a, a really good go hard list. Um, you know, if you've been playing that kind of deck before and, uh, even Glimpse Beyond was good. I was happy that we had Glimpse Beyond instead of having Salvage. Um, you know, that's something we talked about was, you know, maybe playing Salvage instead of Glimpse Beyond so that, uh, Spray Fin always draws go hard. But I think that, um, I think it's worth it having the Glimpse Beyonds in here. 
especially with Curse Keeper and everything. Um, yeah, I think this list did, did really well. So lost the first one, but then it turned it on after that and won four in a row. Can't be mad at that. All right, well, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. If you were somebody who liked playing Go Hard before, give this one a try. Uh, let me know how it goes. Hopefully you enjoy having Kindred and everything. And and you you do you do put yourself in weird positions with Kindred, right? Like don't forget that like like we did like that very last game. We had a two one Dreadway deckhand. We cast Go Hard on our own Dreadway deckhand. Because remember, Kindred's just slaying any unit. You slay your own unit, mark their weakest, you know, the weakest enemy. So that's something that's important to do also. So we got like a hush out of their hand and you know made their life a lot more difficult. Um Ledros could could definitely help if you if if you're gonna be playing against a lot of Lissandra Trundle type stuff you probably you know then then you need to start playing some Ledros in here probably but um, no no Ledros because the the there's a lot of aggressive decks in the metagame right now lots and lots of aggro and you just don't really have time for Ledros Kindred is is just your um, you know top end kind of card in that those kind of matchups but um, it felt like we had even more card draw than like the normal go hard with having spirit leech in here even though i know spirit leech is just over salvage so we don't really have more card draw but it felt like it anyway um yeah so that's twisted kindred so <laughs> twisted kindred there we go uh again um that's it here thank you thank you so much for watching everybody i really appreciate it can never say that enough y'all are amazing have a wonderful day and I will see you for the next video.